Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this series of do-it-yourself self-study kit for Cisco UCCE troubleshooting, I'm going to walk you through in terms of how to isolate switch leg issues within UCCE and CVP. Now, this video is not about how to actually hand to configure labs or troubleshooting tools, but in terms of which uh, area to look at to isolate certain problem. Now, whenever a call comes in, sometimes you may not, uh, you know, exactly know where to start your troubleshooting from. So you gotta walk yourself through in terms of asking some basic questions or asking, uh, looking at some basic um, configurations to see if you can pinpoint the location of the problem. So what, let's say a customer has called you and say, you know what, hey, uh, we uh, the calls are not going to contact center or calls are not hitting the agent or I'm not hearing any prompt some you know then you need to walk yourself through in terms of a process so what we're gonna do is the first thing we need to always ask ourselves does the call hit the ingress gateway if the call does not ing uh, and how do you find out if the call is not hitting the ingress gateway by running some very vari various commands so if the call is does not hit the ingress gateway the things that you need to look at or for example, show interface, make sure the interfaces are up. Show controller, check your controller status. Show ISDN status to see if your layer three has been established or debug ISDN Q931. That will indicate if the call is even coming in from the service provider. Check your B, uh, B channel, whether they are busy out or not. Now, all this must be uh, uh, configured on uh, Ingress Gateway to isolate if the call is, why the call is not hitting the router. Now, you can also run some SIP iOS command to identify any SIP trunk related issues. Now, for the SIP command, please follow look, uh, the SIP issue on the right hand side that I showed you. Now, let's assume the Ingress Gateway is fine, call does hit the router. The next step is to check, does that call match a proper dial pair? Now it is extremely important that the, the call should match up appropriate dial pair before it can go any further. So if the call does not match, then, then we should look at uh, the number that user is dialing by using the show dial number command. Show dial number command can show you whether the number is matching a particular dial pair or it's like a dial, dial number analyzer then you may want to take a look at the voice translation rule to see if the number is being converted into something that is not supposed to for example maybe it is uh, converting to wrong translation you want to check uh, debug voip dial pair to see which dial pair the call is matching uh, we may intend to match dial pair one but somehow due to misconfiguration it is end up matching dial pair 10 for example uh, sometime you may want to type show, vo show voice call status to see what's the status of the call or debug VoIP CC API in out to debug any VoIP related call. These will give you an indication as to why the call is not matching appropriate dial pair. Now if the dial pair is match then then you have to ask yourself does the call hits the CVP or a SIP proxy server? Now, if the call does not hit the CVP or does not get routed to CVP, then ask you, then use these command. You want to debug all the SIP messages to see why the call, what kind of messages do you see on the router as far as the why the SIP call is not completing. It might be uh, a 404 error. Um, it might be incorrect um, IP address. And one of the problem that a SIP gateway might have, especially routing calls to SIP, is that if the um, call forwarding, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, call forwarding rules of toll fraud is not uh, enabled, such as your uh, allowed trust list in the SIP gateway, sometimes the SIP will reject the call. So it is important that you have proper configuration. So run the uh, debug CC SIP all calls error events and i try to read through the messages to see what is uh, the other side or the router itself is telling you you might get a photo uh, remember if you generate if you get a 300 series error that means the um, sip the router is having a redirecting problem if you're having 40 400 series error that means 
the client side is the problem but if you are having 500 errors that means the other side is re is rejecting the call due to some misconfigured information so all this information can be gathered using various zip commands that you see on this box right there but if you realize that no the call is routed to C cvp server properly then check the cvp services subsystem for processing call if the SIP subsystem within CVP is not processing the call, you you may want to look at the SIP services issue. Now, one of the easiest way to find out if the SIP service is up and running or not is that from a router or command prompt, telling it to the SIP uh, CVP on port, uh, for example, 5060. So when the call does, if, if you realize that a SIP service is not able to complete the call or process the call, then take a look at the following is stuff on CVP. Log into your operation console, check if the TCP and UDP services are up as well as if the services are configured properly. Verify that the SIP has the proper routing enabled or SIP services is activated. In the older version of CVP, you had the options to activate uh, either SIP or H.323. Though you may have configured uh, SIP on the router, but the SIP on uh, the CVP server may not be activated. Examine any SIP uh, statistic, uh, examining the uh, CVP error log. CVP has a, a nice little log per analyzer which allows you to uh, monitor CVP SIP based um, call flow. Uh, which I'll show you in the uh, in the future uh, chapters in this series. So use that to identify if there is any problem that you can detect. Now, if uh, CVP is successfully processing the SIP calls, then you want to check. Then you jump into the next step: Is my ICM script running or executing? Uh, if it is executing, then if it's not executing, rather, then check the dial number to make sure the dial number is configured properly check the script to see if the script is a schedule uh, check the cvp logs to see if the, there's a problem with the vxml communication or uh, cvp to um, call manager communication check the label to make sure cvp knows how to route the label all sorts of tests must be done in order to isolate the problem you may even run the uh, ICM OPC test. That's a peripheral, uh, open peripheral uh, test between on the PG server and get a dump log to identify if there is any issues that you might uh, notice. But if the script, of course, is uh, running, then your switching leg is now complete. So troubleshooting or knowing which uh, steps, which commands to use or which uh, item to look at will depend on your knowledge on your product and also your methodology in terms of uh, isolating problems step by step. So it's always a good idea to take one step back, uh, memorize this particular table, make sure you know which uh, messages to you, which command to debug command to use, which show, show commands to use and what uh, condition under what situation you want to use them so hopefully this will help you in terms of troubleshooting your uh, call for environment call environment and like i said try them out uh, try all these debug messages one at a time make sure you have a good understanding about them and as you use them like uh, riding a bike the more you use them the easier it gets to you all right so that's pretty much it i will show you i'll see you in the next lab